Hi, and welcome again with our fourth part of ASP Core MVC Entity Framework. Uh, so, our first video and second video, and third one, we talk uh, about the grating database, and we create our Visual Studio project. And uh, our fourth video, we add our uh, models. So today, we'll try to add our uh, interfaces. Uh, we add our uh, models, so we'll try to add our interfaces today. If you come, I don't know, if maybe you can add repository today too. But before I move uh, to Visual Studio, just I want to mention about the enrollment table. I just add grades uh, field with int only no more, and same time add it to my uh, enrollment table. Where is it here? I forgot it only this one. Uh, it will be same as uh, status. We'll have our uh, enum. So grades will be A, B, C, D, or F. At the same time, will be maybe will be null. Maybe no. I think. And uh, if it's null, it should uh, display only uh, no grade. That's it. Nothing more than this. So now what we'll add? We'll add a new folder. Let's close this one. Save it. And this one too. Uh, let's add a new folder. Uh, we'll call it services. Okay. Inside the services, we'll have our uh, interfaces. Choose interface from here. It will be better. Oops. Interface. Okay. First one will be I student. Okay. So what I want to execute in SQL Server. So I need first one how to save it, how to get or set data, uh, how to delete. So I need to add here, let's say here, we call a signature for my repository. So first one, uh, uh, let's call enum in, uh, in, uh, in a powerable. So we'll call it will be uh, student okay, we'll call our student from here let's call it uh, get get uh, student or get all get students yeah so it'll be only just get uh, second one, I need to get, let's say they call it details, or I need to get uh, one student only. So it will be uh, student, uh, let's call it get student. Uh, but here I need to send ID, because I'm getting only one student, not all of them, all the table. And uh, I need to add void. This void will be like call it add add what add student sorry student underscore student so I uh, like this okay and same void I got remove remove what one student so it should send them ID for the student okay that's it. Uh, let's close this one so uh, let me tell you what we have done we get all students or one student add remove update uh, I'll teach you something maybe to be easier to how to add update same time with the add we'll see how to do that in our code not here so second Interface will be I gender. Okay. In a more of all, same gender. Uh, get genders. So get. Table. Uh, 
after the gender get gender so it's one only and send them id okay id close it what we put in our student okay i see that's it so uh after that we need add void we need to add add gender underscore gender gender so that void remove who int id mistakes same close it oh what you forgot to put public here it's important here should be public oh, the last mistake still public this one should be public close yes and close this one too i need to add one more for let's add enrollment i enrollment After that we need to get only one so just enrollment let's call it get enrollment we need int id void add who enrollment underscore enrollment nice last one remove remove int id mm. that's it last one uh, last interface will be let's check our database courses ok I course public so uh, inama robot not that one so mm -mm -mm. get is just get after that I need more I need just course get course I don't know why I put get course but okay no problem int id void add underscore course last one is will be remove void remove will be int id yes we finish check them it's okay everything's fine we have one more minute so our next step what will be our next step will be to add our repository so we'll add the new folder we'll call it data inside this data will be our uh, it's called data access layer so here my uh, 
in our my view will be our uh, presentation layer in service will be our uh, business logic layer they call it and last one or what we add the uh, data uh, we'll add a new folder called data this will be our uh, data access layer we'll add our uh, db context and maybe next video we'll try to add our uh, connection string and show you how to add our connection string in our uh, Johnson file will be here how to add it I'll show you how to add it I have to uh, import it in our uh, startup file how to add it here too uh, so let's move to next video I don't want you be feel bored if it will be long videos uh, so see you uh, next video